sounds like the ignition. goons of yours posing as Cavanaugh's men, did you? Okay, I've got the gun now. Put the bottle down. Step away from it before that copter of yours settles down. You haven't given me any reason why I won't smash this. This is the end of the line, Ainsley. For real now. Put the bottle down and step away from it or I'll blow a hole in your head. You're psychotic, but don't be stupid. If I blow a hole in your head or you drop that bottle, you'll die, and you'll have nothing. Perhaps I am psychotic, but I'm certainly not stupid. If I smash this, I wouldn't die, Mr. Barrett. Why do you think Baxter waited so long before telling anyone about the Satan bunk? Why do you think he was working nights, weekends, the vaccine? Well, I waited for the vaccine. Two days ago, he made it. That's why he had to die. And Austria. You're wrong about him, too. He didn't suspect me. He didn't suspect anyone. He just knew about the vaccine. And now I'm the only one who has the formula. And the vaccine is in my bloodstream. I'm immune. I won't die. I'm immune. But you told us what the Satan bug would do. You mean to say that you'd live on this world alone? By yourself? I told you about the Satan bug to keep you from finding Baxter. Even so, he believed every word I said. I'm not sure how good a biochemist he was. Some scientists thought that the H-bomb would start a chain reaction, that it'd blow up the world, but it didn't. Now, nobody really knows about this. Theoretically, yes. But it hasn't yet been put to the real test. Perhaps it will destroy all life. Perhaps. Certainly, it could destroy millions. Do you want to test it? Watching for you and saw the car stop. Thought I'd better pick you up here. The engine failed. Don't worry about it. We'll take off immediately. Yes, sir. Any trouble, Mr. Ainsley? No, no. Well, Mr. Barrett, the flask is still in Los Angeles. Nothing? I'm afraid not, sir. Nothing? Nothing on Los Angeles? Nothing at all? Nothing of any consequence. Hello? Only two yes, times to Los Angeles. Now, one of them is an office Where? building. Here. Ten stories high. Now, we've got men Sorry? going through them, starting from the top. Now, the only other thing is this little notation in red ink, Glendale 73. We've got men calling on every house with 73, every phone number beginning with 73, every cab. Well, you get the idea, sir. Yes. Reddy did that. He was doodling while they were waiting for Hoffman. Hold on. Jack, take this. Well, they found the green car. Where? It was abandoned in front of a restaurant next to a service station near Palmdale. They were both closed, but a watchman in a gravel yard across the street saw the green car park and two men get out. He described Hoffman perfectly. 
The other man? It sounds like Barrett. Well, what happened to them? Well, there are two other men waiting in a black car. They held guns on the first two. Then they got in the black car and all four drove off. Did the night watchman try to stop them? No. There's something else. The watchman said one of the men was carrying something that looked like a small flask. No license plate on the black car. Wrong angle. Couldn't see it. Eric? This was doodled by that maniac Beretti. Look at this. That could be a flask. It is a flask. I think all these are flasks. That is something real. He was unconsciously trying to draw or doodle something. What is it? Lines look like parking dividers in a parking lot. Sir, look at this. A diamond? Baseball diamond? Baseball stadium. Jack, give me that. Put me on Los Angeles, 4 7, right away. Isn't it, Mr. Barrett? And pathetic. They can't run away. Nobody can. There's plenty of time. Cavanaugh. Hello. Yes, we're here in Loki. Nothing. Yes, they're looking there. Of course we're looking there. Yeah, yeah, I know. We'll be running out of land pretty soon. And time. Where is the flask, Mr. Ainsley? Don't press, Mr. Barrett.